Hi everyone, I'm Mark, one of the founders and maintainers of Langfuse, the open source LLM engineering platform. I'm excited to be back on Proton today for the third time with the largest new feature that we released since starting Langfuse, prompt experiments. After launching on Proton last summer and winning a Golden Kitty award, Langfuse is now the most used open source LLM observability and evaluation project with millions of monthly SDK downloads, a large community on GitHub, and teams like Khan Academy, Trilio, and Samsara use Langfuse to build their AI applications. Let me give you a quick demo of the new prompt experiments. This is an example application that you can try for yourself that uses all Langfuse features. When asking a simple question, it will answer based on the Langfuse documentation using RAG and GPT-40. This is not a great answer, as it did not include any code in the result, even though I asked for it. So let's add some feedback. When we now switch to the Langfuse dashboard, we can see a detailed trace of the conversation, including the user feedback, and some LM as a judge evaluations that length is computed. This application fetches the length use documentation and then summarizes an answer by using an OpenAI LLM call in the final step. Let's try fixing this simple problem by using prompt experiments because we really want code to be returned by this application. Here in prompt management, we can easily version control and manage our prompts together as a team. Let's create a new version to attempt fixing this issue. Oh, this seems to be an easy fix because here we stated, remember, do not output code. Let's just remove this line. Now that we've created a new version of this prompt, let's run one of these new prompt experiments to verify that it does not cause any issues and resolve the problem. Prompt experiments allow us to test a prompt with the given model configuration on a data set of example inputs and outputs. Now Langfuse runs this prompt on each data set item. We can see the different test cases that I created earlier here, always with a context and a question. And some of them require more code in the output where the user really asks for some code-focused questions. Optionally, we can also configure Langfuse to run LM as a judge evaluations to, for example, in this case, evaluate whether the output contains code if this is something we want to frequently test for. We, for example, can here see that this item now contains code in the output and up here, this also was positive. Let's compare this new iteration with the previous prompt version as a baseline to make sure that we didn't break anything that worked before. Okay, this looks good here. We score equally well on correctness of the overall answers, but we more often get code in the answer. Here, for example, we can compare our new prompt output, which includes more code, with the baseline that we had before, where there was like no code at all. Based on this insight, I can now navigate to prompt management and deploy this new prompt version to production with confidence that we've improved the code output while not breaking anything else. And we are done. This was a brief tour of Langfuse prompt experiments. Thank you to everyone on the team and our Proton and GitHub communities who helped grow Langfuse since our initial launch. We wouldn't be here without you. If you want to learn more, navigate to our documentation to get an end-to-end -end overview of our Langfuse features. You can try this demo and self-host Langfuse via Docker or create a free account on Langfuse Cloud today to get started. Langfuse helps you build and launch better LLM applications faster. We can't wait to hear your feedback today here on Proton, as we'll be here in the comments section all day.